What's up guys, thanks for stopping by, I hope you're doing good. Today's video is all about 5 tips and tricks of fighting the Elder in Valheim. I hope you enjoy this video, let's jump into it. Number 1 is Fire Arrows. So when fighting the Elder, first of all, melee attacks aren't that great. They do deal a lot of damage, but the Elder has so many different AoE attacks that fighting up close can be super tough. It is really easy once you have late game gear, but assuming this is your first playthrough, you're going to want to avoid the Elder's stamping attack, which has quite a large AoE, and the vines that he summons also cause more of an issue when you're fighting close quarters because that on top of the Elder attacks itself and any other mobs that might be around greatly increases the DPS of the enemy. So you're going to be taking a lot of damage and a short period of time if you fight up close so using a bow and arrow is the way to go the elder is weak to fire and that's why fire arrows are the best choice fire arrows will cause a burning effect which means he's going to be taking a little bit of damage over time as well as the initial damage you will of course need eight wood eight resin and two feathers to craft fire arrows but that crafts 20 arrows so it might sound like a lot of mats at first to get using fire arrows but the fact that you're crafting stacks of 20 means it's really easy to craft 100 and you're not going to need much more than that i do recommend taking more than 100 fire arrows however i would say about 150 to be safe that's going to allow you a few misses and if you really want to be on the safe side you're definitely not going to need more than 200 fire arrows even if you're going to miss a lot of shots number two is use pillars as cover now the single most dangerous attack that the elder has is the crazy vines attack where he shoots vines out of his hand spider-man style for this attack each vine deals a lot of damage and if all those vines hit you at the same time it's basically game over these vines destroy pretty much everything in the environment including rocks copper trees and when you first start fighting the elder and you start trying to use your bow it's this attack that makes it seem like you want to fight close quarters but no enemy attack can penetrate or destroy the pillars around the altar so the actual area where you summon the elder is the safest place to be i highly recommend constantly staying behind a pillar for cover draw your bow peek take a shot go back to cover draw your bow peek take a shot just stay behind the same pillar and as soon as he gets close to you move to the next pillar if you're starting to take too much damage from the vines you can move to the next pillar then as well and you can also change cover if too many mobs are coming but i highly recommend to stay in on the outside of the summon area behind a pillar and just keep peeking and shooting with your bow and when he gets too close just move to another pillar if he gets really, really close, just run to the complete opposite side of the summoning area. Take cover behind a pillar there and you should be completely fine. The great thing about this as well is that if you start to get overwhelmed by mobs whilst you're trying to kill him, you can use the fact that you've got cover from the Elder to buy a little time and take out a few of the mobs that are causing additional problems. So stay in cover, peek, shoot, peek, shoot. This one tip is probably the most important when it comes to beating the elder safely number three is use potions so as soon as you get into the black forest area you can actually start working towards getting your potion set up going i recommend using the minor healing potion and also the minor stamina potion these potions do have a cooldown so be careful it's not possible to spam them so what you want to do is use the previous tips to deal as much damage as you can and avoid taking damage but as soon as you do take a large amount of damage at once instantly use that health potion go and get to cover make sure you hotkey your potions as well so put it on the top bar of your inventory this just means you're going to be able to quickly use the potion in an emergency and then with the stamina potion if you ever get in a situation where you are unable to get out of the way because you're out of stamina then use the stamina potion you can also use the stamina potion if you run out of stamina because you've been firing a lot of arrows but I highly recommend holding on to your stamina potions for those crucial moments where you might die just because you're low on stamina and are not able to run away so when you take a lot of damage use health potion and when you're out of stamina and you need to run away use the stamina potion if you use these sparingly the cooldown shouldn't be an issue now to get started making potions first of all you're going to need to build a cauldron in your base this requires 
10 tin ingots. So you're going to need to go to the coast of a black forest to find some tin and smelt that in a smelter. And you're also going to need a fermenter. For that, you need 30 fine wood, 5 bronze, and 10 resin. Once you have those things and you have them placed in your base, bear in mind the cauldron needs to be over a fire and the fermenter needs to have shelter. For the minor healing, you'll first need to make a mead base. So for minor healing, you want 10 honey, 5 blueberries, 10 raspberries, and 1 dandelion. Once you've made that base, you then need to place it in the fermenter. You're going to have to wait an in-game day or two for it to be ready. But once it is ready, go back to the fermenter and collect your potions. For the stamina potion, you need 10 honey, 10 raspberries, and 10 yellow mushrooms. And this mead base needs to go through the same process where you put it in the fermenter and you wait. So just give yourself a few in-game days to prepare for this fight. But if you do all this stuff, you should be good. Number four is use a workbench. So because you're mainly going to be using a bow and arrow in this fight, it's extremely likely that your bow is going to break. Now the obvious solution is to build more than one bow. And I do recommend using at least two bows for most boss fights. But there is one way that you can get infinite usage out of your bow when fighting the elder which is to build a workbench nearby where you can go and repair your bow in this example just to kind of emphasize the point i built it right in the middle of the boss area but it's probably better if you build it somewhere a little safer where it's not going to get destroyed but i will say it was really surprising testing this that my bench actually didn't get destroyed it's worth noting that the only reason this is viable is because most likely the bow that you're going to be using at this stage of the game is repairable at repair station one which means it only requires a level one workbench to repair so this won't be a viable option for all of the bows in the game but if you're fighting the elder this is perfect so find a safe spot next to the boss area build yourself a simple shelter because remember the workstation needs to be sheltered in order to work and whenever your bow breaks just run away for a second, go repair your bow, and jump back into the action. Number five is campfires. So if you bring the materials needed to build a few campfires and a hammer, you can actually place down a campfire in the path of the elder and he will catch fire this will cause the same burning effect as the fire arrow except it won't do any initial damage now this approach has become more popular since it has appeared in a lot of articles and stuff but i gotta say it isn't really that effective for sure you will deal a little extra damage but if you want to play things a little safer i would just stick to hiding behind the pillars and using the bow and arrow however it's worth mentioning because if you just want to do as much damage as possible at all times against the elder then placing a few campfires in his path is the way to go inventory space however might be coming an issue because to build a lot of campfires you're going to need a lot of wood and some stone but anyway it is a strategy that does work even though it's not super effective and what you need to do is if you ever get close to the elder kite him towards you and just place the campfire down in his path and he will basically immediately catch fire. You can just place campfires where you think he might go and try and kite him into it. But frankly, if you do that, you're going to be wasting quite a lot of time because this doesn't deal a lot of damage. So any time you spend trying to kite him into a fire, it's kind of just time wasted when that could be spent just shooting him with a bow and arrow. So I would say just place a couple in front of his path as you go. Maybe destroy them and collect the materials and place them again a couple of times. And this is maybe something Thing that you could do when you're changing cover between the pillars and then when you get to the pillars just go back to the bow and arrow strategy all right guys that's just about gonna do it for this video don't forget to leave a like if you like the video leave a dislike if you didn't leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of this video or suggest a topic for a future video i do stream every day on twitch and i'm playing a lot of valheim so i'll leave a link in the description to that i'm also planning on doing some youtube streams so if you're interested in that and you want to check out some of my future videos hit the subscribe button and until next time have a good one.